James Gowan's ability in, in, in the contest in the centre of the game to, to have an awareness of what was around him, an offload to O'Hara, who just put the ball inside 50. Morning, back! Morning! Boat. He's taking his time. Pinozzo. Good kick, Bradley. Quickly off to Mules. Well, I don't know about the hand pass. Mules didn't either. Then he handed it out to Scott Collings. Gee, that was a good handball. He ran his full distance and went long to centre half forward. The pressure's on. Alex Grimer's got away from young Reichardt. He's running to goal with an open, and that's him to end stuff from the base. The game we see Glenelg taking the game on. Young Daniel Scott Collins, he gets the footy, looked for him to carry and run, and, and typical left footer uses it really well. And uh, if Alex Grimer gets goal side, it's, uh, it's shut the door because he is lightning quick as well. So just a really good transfer from Glenelg from their, from their kick in. Started the year off pretty well, Alex Grimer, in good uh, goal-kicking form. But sort of lost his way a little bit, found himself in the reserves and now back in the league side. So he's uh, done a full pre-season at high school. And oh, yeah. I ran in the AFL Grand Final Sprint in 99. Yeah. Uh, I beat Jason Ackermanis, actually. He did his hammy after 10 metres. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to say that, you know. We could have made something of it. Bays go forward. High kick. Who can take a mark? Todd Grimer there. Here's Sir Murphy. Tripped over his own teammate. Fed out a what looked like a handball. In goes uh, Seller. Seller to Todd Grimer. Can he make something happen here? Oh, he goes to Murphy. He kicks a goal. A half distance kick. It was a mistake, but Murphy said. It was a nice pass, Todd. Just Toddy's ability there, just to keep the ball alive and keep it moving. Uh, traditionally, in that, that scenario, you would have seen a rush behind. The, the new rules are. I guess Central's a bit hesitant to, to put the ball behind, but, but just terrific second and third efforts. You see Murph there on the ground just dish out a handball, and, and Jimmy Seller and Toddy Grimer, the big blokes down there, their work ethic is just fantastic, and, and Toddy wouldn't have been real happy with his kick, but, but fortunate for the Bays, uh, Murph was able to get... Wonderful. O'Hara's a long kick by hand to Callanan. Stretch on the hamstring. Bradley, what a tackle. Surely that was holding the ball. The dogs retain around him. Sliding in was Cranston, missed the ball, but stood up and took it now. And away come the Bays again. Lally's got a man in the middle in Pinozzo. He can run, he can bounce, he can do it. Serve back to Nace. To Nace, a couple of bounces from outside 50. Open goal square, goes for it. Getting back, it's there. Oh, what a kick from To Nace. Well, if Angus Lally's one of the longest kicks came to Nace, has just proved today that he's got a fair hoof on him as well. And they needed that the uh, Tigers, because they had a lot of the play inside their 50. They couldn't score. Dogs went forward. They couldn't get the job done. But this is a marvellous kick by Tanase. Yes, yeah, super finish by Kane Tanase. Again, we've seen it early in the first quarter. His ability to run and carry through the lines and, and finish off there was, was fantastic. But Toddy Grimer's work on the outer wing, just to keep the ball alive. Trevor... Bouncing to Murphy's path. Now Murphy does the same for Bode, and umpire calls it too high. Matty Bode to take the free kick. Outside his range, you'd think, although I did see him kick one for the Bays the other week from outside 50. Here he goes, sets it up, 25 from goal. Couple of leapers, Willoughby at the base of the pack. Goal coming up for the Bays. It's a five-point game. Just good old-fashioned footy there. We see Matty Bode's kick coming in. Just to the top of the goal square, well weighted. The two big men fly and a terrific crumbing position by Joshy Willoughby where all the little men should be under the feet of the big guys and, and just finish off with a goal. And, and Joshy Willoughby, the, uh, him and his partner Abby are uh, expecting a baby now, which is fantastic news for him. But uh, look, just great play by on Elg. Matty Bode, super effort, didn't try and over... He goes to Keller, an opportunity for the Bays. Big pack of players, who can pluck it? Oh, Grimer does! Oh, that was a lovely mark, Todd Grimer. He floated across the pack. And Kellogg just sat it up there, hoping for someone to launch. And that man did. Yeah, probably the best contested mark in the competition, I'd say, Tony Grimer. One of those guys that you just love to see play footy. You come to watch the big games, the big marking fours. He comes out, he loves hitting the bodies nice and hard. And, and he's just got a terrific pair of hands. The only thing that lets him down, I know he's done a lot of work on it, but uh, his goal kicking can let him down. But uh, he has done a super load of work on it over the summer. 26-7 before today. It's 27-7. He's forced seven. He's getting the averages up pretty well, Todd Grimer. And scores are level at the Ponderosa. Yeah. The way the central districts are playing, they are pushing numbers behind the ball. So it's going to take someone like a Toddy Grimer or Rory Kirkby to stand up in a big packet and take that contested mark. And you just see off balance, 
super strong hands there and had the ability to go back and finish it off. Todd Grimer, head down over the ball. Possessions, Glenelg, sorry, Central's, I'll get that right. Central's 49, Glenelg 96. Abel, pulled the ground by Lally, umpire said holding the ball. Allen wanted to go, Gunston's held his arm. The fans love the doggies and they come from here, here, there and everywhere. Here's McKenzie, a crowd favourite, away to Swatala, Williams, Thomas, fumble, here's Ty Allen, handball over the top, Bode, he should kick it from here and does. He's happy with it, Matthew Bode. They've turned it around the base, they try by 17 a quarter, they now lead by 13 points, good finish, Matty Bode. Just the ability to have clean hands. We see Tomo there, just a half slight fumble. Ty picks up, offloads to Matty Bode. And in that scenario, the little wizard doesn't, doesn't miss too many of those. The, the kid is uh, a terrific around goal. One of those guys you just love having your footy team. He's, he's a life of the party. He, he gets all the boys up and pumping. And, uh, you know, just it's great to see Matty Bode troll. But had the arm pinned, had no other option, I guess. Marginal. Here's Ty Allen, who looks like he's in about the eighth week of his uh, of Survivor on TV. Bouncing ball. There goes Hayes. Oh, he meets Todd Grimer, bounces off him. Gowans caught by Allen. Then the handball back to Hayes, who's caught by Allen, to Gunston, who's caught by Allen. So three tackles in the stats book to Ty Allen. And James Gowans is really feeling it. He's caught one there, James Gowans, and he's hobbling. Good thing he's close to the interchange bench. He'll hobble off. He really got crunched in that exchange. Chris Gowans ducked the head, got it out to... ...when he came out, so they've just re-strapped that ankle and we think he'll be given another chance. Scott Collins, a left footer. Brett Backwell describes him as lightning. And he slipped that one through the middle. So a good answering goal for the base, just to steady themselves and get back within five points. Flory. They just switched it to the other side of the ground. Laurie told to get on with the job. And now he kicks a dangerous one for his side, and Willoughby's taken the mark. Well, he didn't quite know what to do, Heath Laurie, and Willoughby thought about playing on, but as the umpire called time on, he may just want to set the mark. Didn't see Willoughby look as if he was going to dash away, but he had a shot to, uh, for someone here in the first quarter, Brett, and uh, put it across the face as Kane Tenace takes a breather. Yeah. Normally a great finisher, Joshy, but as you said, just push the first one forward. And great courage we see again there by Joshy. Just his ability to, to stay in the air, keep his eye on the footy with, with defenders around him and hang on to that ball on the second or third go. Kicked a nice crumbing goal in the second quarter and he gets it right this time. He had an opportunity in the first quarter to... The back for Kane and then Alex Grimer on this side had to wait. Hardy didn't. Smashed it forward, fired up. Grimer, great chase. He felt responsible for turning the ball over and magnificent chase on Hardy. A shepherd, but he couldn't. Kicked off the ground. Kirk, surely a free kick. Hobbit over it. Hayes was there. Hard ball to be won. And it will be a ball up. The umpire just letting it go. Not too Ooh, bad. That's a free kick. I would have thought so, but... Uh, well, the umpire's a bit closer than us, even though we've got a good look at it there. Here's James Gowans, mown down by Tenace. He needed to get rid of it a bit quicker, did James Gowans, that 33-year-old body of his. Not quite as pacey. OK, but he's got the goal all right, and it's a 37-point margin, and there we go. You sure we're not in South Africa at the moment? Oh, I reckon there's a red card for Daniel Kirk. We gave him... Taking the mark inside forward 50 will be given a 25-metre free kick. And away we go. So for their first score of the final turn, Jared Kellogg from 25 out, straight in front, pops through a goal. You get the centre break.